Kidney Beans Benefits Kidney beans are a variety of the common bean, Phacillus vulgaris, a legume native to Central America and Mexico. The common bean is an important food crop and a major source of protein throughout the world. Typically, kidney beans are cooked to a high standard and used in a wide range of dishes. Although they can be toxic if cooked improperly, eating them well can be beneficial. Different types of kidney beans come in a wide variety of colors and patterns. Some of these include white, cream, black, red, purple, and spotted. This video tells you everything you need to know about kidney beans. Nutrition Facts Kidney beans are mainly composed of carbs and fiber but also serve as a good source of protein. The nutrition facts for 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, of boiled kidney beans are Calories, 127 Water, 67% Protein, 8.7 grams Carbs, 22.8 grams Sugar, 0.3 grams Fiber, 6.4 grams Fat, 0.5 grams Protein Kidney beans are rich in protein. Approximately 3.5 ounces of kidney beans contain almost 9 grams of protein, which accounts for 27% of their total calorie content. Although the nutritional quality of bean protein is generally lower than that of animal protein, beans are an affordable alternative for many people. In fact, beans are one of the richest plant-based sources of protein, sometimes referred to as poor man's meat. The most widely studied protein in kidney beans is phaseolin, which may cause allergic reactions in some people. Kidney beans also contain other proteins like lectins and protease inhibitors. Carbs Kidney beans are mainly composed of starchy carbs, which account for approximately 72% of the total calorie content. Starch is predominantly made up of long chains of glucose in the form of amylose and amylopectin. Compared to other sources of starch, beans have a higher amylose content. Amylose is digested more slowly than amylopectin. Because of this, bean starch is a slow-release carb that causes blood sugar levels to rise more slowly than other starches. This makes kidney beans a great choice for people with type 2 diabetes. Compared to other types of carbohydrates, kidney beans have a lower glycemic index. This is a measure of how food affects one's blood sugar levels after a meal. In fact, bean starch has a more beneficial effect on blood sugar balance than many other high-carb foods. Fibers Kidney beans are high in fiber. They contain substantial amounts of resistant starch, which may play a role in weight management. Insoluble fibers found in kidney beans can cause some people to experience diarrhea and other intestinal issues. Both alpha-galactosides and resistant starch can function as prebiotics, which helps promote healthy gut flora. Prebiotics move through the digestive tract and eventually reach the colon. The soluble fibers found in kidney beans can also help promote healthy colon health by forming short-chain fatty acids, which can lower one's risk of colon cancer. Vitamins and Minerals Kidney beans are rich in various vitamins and minerals, including 1. Molybdenum Beans are high in molybdenum, a trace element mainly found in seeds, grains, and legumes. Folate, also known as folic acid or vitamin B9, folate is considered particularly important during pregnancy. Iron this essential mineral has many important functions in your body. Iron may be poorly absorbed from beans due to their phytate content. Copper, this antioxidant trace element is often low in the Western diet. Aside from beans, the best dietary sources of copper are organ meats, seafood, and nuts. 2. Manganese, this compound is present in most foods, especially in whole grains, legumes, fruits, and vegetables. Potassium, this essential nutrient may have beneficial effects on heart health. Vitamin K1, also known as philoquinone, vitamin K1 is important for blood coagulation. Other plant compounds. Kidney beans contain many bioactive plant compounds, including 1. Isoflavones, a class of antioxidants present in high amounts in soybeans. Isoflavones are categorized as phytoestrogens due to their similarity to the female sex hormone, estrogen. Anthocyanins, this family of colorful antioxidants occurs in the skin of kidney beans. The color of red kidney beans is mainly due to an anthocyanin known as pelargonidin. Phytohemagglutinin, this toxic protein exists in high amounts in raw kidney beans, especially red varieties. It can be eliminated through cooking. 2. Phytic acid, found in all edible seeds, phytic acid, phytate, impairs your absorption of various minerals, such as iron and zinc.
it can be reduced by soaking, sprouting, or fermenting the beans. Starch blockers, a class of lectins, also known as alpha amylase inhibitors. Starch blockers impair or delay the absorption of carbs from your digestive tract but are inactivated by cooking. Weight loss. Excess weight gain and obesity are major health problems, associated with an increased risk of various chronic diseases. Several observational studies link bean consumption to a lower risk of excess weight gain and obesity. A two-month study conducted on 30 obese adults revealed that consuming beans and other legumes four times a week can lead to better weight loss than a diet that doesn't involve them. A recent review of 11 studies also found some supporting evidence but was unable to draw a firm conclusion. The various mechanisms that can contribute to weight loss by beans include their fiber, protein, and anti-nutrient content. One of the most common anti-nutritional compounds found in raw kidney beans is starch blockers, which are proteins that can delay or prevent the digestion of carbohydrates. Starch blockers, extracted from white kidney beans, demonstrate some potential as a weight loss supplement. However, boiling for 10 minutes completely inactivates starch blockers, eliminating their effect in fully cooked beans. Although cooked kidney beans are usually not as nutritious as raw ones, they contain numerous compounds that can help reduce weight. Other health benefits of kidney beans. Aside from being weight loss friendly, kidney beans may have a number of benefits when properly cooked and prepared. Improved blood sugar control. High blood sugar can lead to various chronic conditions, such as heart disease. Drinking a moderate amount of water after meals can help lower this risk. High in fiber, protein, and slow release carbs, kidney beans can help lower blood sugar levels. They have a low GI score, which means that your rise in blood sugar after eating them is low and more gradual. In fact, beans are better at controlling blood sugar than most dietary sources of carbs. Studies suggest that eating beans and other low glycemic foods can lower the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Eating low glycemic foods may also improve blood sugar control in people who already have type 2 diabetes. Even if you don't have diabetes, eating beans can help lower your blood sugar levels and protect your health. Colon Cancer Prevention Colon cancer is one of the most common types of cancer worldwide. Observational studies link legume intake, including beans, with a reduced risk of colon cancer. This is supported by test tube and animal studies. Beans contain a variety of nutrients and fibers with potential anti-cancer effects. The undigested fiber found in beans, such as alpha-galactosides and resistant starch, is then fermented by friendly bacteria and contributes to the formation of soluble fiber associations SCFAs. SCFAs like butyrate may improve colon health and lower your risk of colon cancer. Potential downsides Even though kidney beans may have a number of health benefits, raw or inadequately cooked kidney beans are toxic. In addition, some people may wish to limit their consumption of beans due to bloating and flatulence. Raw kidney bean toxicity. Raw kidney beans contain high amounts of a toxic protein called phytohemagglutinin. Phytohemagglutinin is found in many beans but is particularly high in red kidney beans. In humans and animals, kidney bean poisoning has been known to occur. Some of the common symptoms include vomiting and diarrhea. Getting rid of the toxins from kidney beans by cooking them thoroughly is very important to prevent kidney bean poisoning. Soaked kidney beans in cold water for at least 5 hours before consuming them should be done. They should also be boiled at a rate of 212 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. Anti-nutrients in kidney beans. Uncooked or raw kidney beans contain various anti-nutritional substances that can reduce the nutritional value of the beans. Although some of these nutrients may be beneficial, they are still considered very harmful in developing countries, where beans are a staple food. The main anti-nutrients in kidney beans are Phytic acid, this compound, also known as phytate, impairs your absorption of minerals, such as iron and zinc. Protease inhibitors, also known as trypsin inhibitors, these proteins inhibit the function of various digestive enzymes, impairing protein digestion. Starch blockers, these substances, sometimes called alpha amylase inhibitors, impair the absorption of carbs from your digestive tract. When properly cooked and soaked, kidney beans can partially or fully inactivate the various compounds listed above. Fermenting and sprouting the beans may reduce anti-nutrients, such as phytic acid, even further. Flatulence and bloating. In some people, beans may cause unpleasant effects, such as bloating, flatulence, and diarrhea. Soluble fibers known as alpha-galactosides are responsible for these effects. They belong to a group of fibers known as FODMAPs, which can worsen the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. 
Alpha galactosides can be partially removed by soaking and sprouting the beans. The bottom line. High in protein, kidney beans are also a great source of other nutrients such as vitamins, fiber, and antioxidants. Therefore, these beans may aid weight loss, promote colon health, and moderate blood sugar levels. However, kidney beans should always be eaten well cooked. Raw or improperly cooked beans are toxic.